Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to the Chef Yusuf show where we learn to cook the Islamic way. A lot of the Muslim people in the West, the children, the youth, even the elders, they always have a struggle and challenges when they go out to eat in restaurants or when they buy their food from, you know, the stores. And a lot of us always uh, complain about the uh, sweets or the uh, pastry or the cakes or the gelatin and, and all that stuff. But a lot of people do not realize that it goes further than that, actually. And when it comes to soup, unfortunately, a lot of the soups, there is unlawful ingredients in it. And to best example of this, if you go to a Chinese restaurant, you see the Wang Tong soup, which is the dumpling soup. Um, it is a soup with the dumpling like in a clear broth. And uh, actually, I didn't know until one of my Chinese friends came up to me and stopped me and told me, even though it says shrimp, they actually uh, use the, uh, the, the minced pork when they make the actual uh, broth or the, or the liquid. So I didn't know that. And this is uh, one of the things that, we, you know, it's another challenge that we always keep to have asking. So why not make the stuff at home? To make Wong Tong, Wong Tong soup, this is the Chinese version of uh, dumpling soup. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the recipe real quick. I'm gonna show you the method so you can be creative and make your own recipe at home. Uh, the basic or the methodology of this is you need a protein, uh, twice as protein and, and uh, one portion of uh, green vegetable. Over here I have some cabbage. So for example, if I have two cups of ground meat or ground chicken or ground shrimp, any halal ground protein, um, meat I mean. So you use the twice a portion of one portion of the ground vegetable. I do have some uh, cabbage over here. And uh, for our uh, dumpling, we will make uh, the ready uh, wonton wrappers. Uh, I do apologize guys, when we make ravioli, I'll, make you, I'll show you how to make this stuff from scratch. But this is a shortcut, they sell this in the produce section in the refrigerator in every store in the in, in the west so it shouldn't be issue other than that we just need some scallion or some green onions and really that's how simple it is this is one of the soups that actually we will make the broth while we make the dumpling so you do not need to add the broth we will use water so we uh, did add water now you can't use broth if you want to if you can afford it because we made so much broth in the first and second episode we can actually put broth everywhere now uh, but so if you want to do that, you can do it on your own. But this is the, the, the method they use it in the restaurant, in the Chinese restaurant. Now, if you are, if you wish to open a halal Chinese restaurant, uh, you know, it's wonderful to have your, your virgin, the halal version of it. I do have some lamb over here. A lot of uh, people make it with shim as well. All right. So using the ground meat, every time we add herbs and uh, spices to ground meat, you add a little bit of liquid, you add a little bit water. I do have a little bit of uh, stock or, or from chicken stock from previous episode. So we'll add a little bit, we'll, we'll mix it a little bit. Uh, we want to add some, maybe a little bit of salt, soy sauce, maybe one tablespoon and mix it as well. Soy sauce is the substitute of salt every time you make any Asian cuisine or Asian, any Chinese food. When it comes to Chinese food, always avoid salt, use soy sauce, that's the method. Um, we do have some uh, sesame oil, just a little bit of sesame oil. And uh, add a little bit of broth if you need to. So just mix this, make sure it's a creamy, you know, creamy filling. We're gonna use this as the filling. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, sliced, thinly sliced green onions. And the green vegetable, of course, we want to slice this as small as we can. We want this to really blend in into the meat. If you want to use your food processor, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to use the really thinly sliced method. You know, it's really difficult to slice and talk at the same time. I give it up for those uh, you know, celebrity chefs who talk and slice at the same time. It's really difficult, you know. All right, so let's go ahead and add the green vegetable here. Now, uh, twice as much as protein and one portion of the green vegetable. So I might not add the whole thing. We'll see here if we need to add a little bit more of the liquid. So 
So I'm going to show you the mixture over here. Okay, so we have our wrappers over here. We'll just add uh, some water on the side. And really, there is a million way to make this, guys. Um, the way you make it will reflect your personality. So you add a little bit of water on the side. I'm not going to go and be creative and show you like the crazy way to do this. I'm going to do this just the simplest way and easy way. Anyway, I'm going to close this like an envelope. And I'm going to do the... I'm going to wrap it like this. And then on the side, I'll go ahead and stick the sides together. So as you can see, you can go ahead and be creative. It's a fun activity to do with your family. So let's go ahead and make them real quick. So let me show you the lazy man method. You put the dumpling and you just close it uh, like this. Really no, like a sack of bag, you know like that so we have the heat underneath the water over here we have our dumpling ready we're gonna put this back in the freezer right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prepare my uh, sauce this is gonna be a garlic uh, soy sauce really simple we have two garlics over here I like to crush them to peel them makes your life easier this way okay I'm gonna go ahead chop them after I chop them and crush the garlic really in small bits and pieces after this we'll go ahead and add some of the uh, sesame oil so we have sesame oil we have some uh, soy sauce and we have some garlic and this is our sauce that will go with the dumpling put this aside the water is boiling over here the tumbling will go next and this will take only from five to eight minutes maybe six or seven minutes it depends all right we'll wait for it to uh, finish in the meantime i'm going to get my uh, rest of the green onions i'm going to slice them really thin this will go as a garnish on top at the end So I got myself a bowl, I got myself a plate. When the dumpling rise on top, you can go ahead and remove them. But remember, from five, six, seven, eight minutes, it should be done. Okay, I always avoid to cook with water because water is the flavorless liquid on the planet. I do like to cook with stock or broth, but in this case, we are making the actual broth. The water itself is extracting the flavors from the uh, from the meat and the mixture that we had here. Now, um, the reason I'm showing you this because this is the traditional method to do it. But if you can add the stock, go ahead, go ahead and uh, discover and see how it tastes like. Make your own recipe, make your own Wong Tong invention, of course. Okay, so inshallah, let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's go ahead and remove the... Uh... So this is what you do. You take the liquid that we extracted from the meat and all of that beautiful flavors. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. We'll go ahead and add a little bit of sesame oil. We'll add a little bit of the soy sauce. And this is where the color comes from in the soup. We do put the green onions and a little bit of our garlic sauce, just a little bit to give it a little bit of the garlic. And of course, if you like hot sauce, you go ahead and add it right now, as you can see. Okay, so you take your chopsticks, you take one of the dumpling, dip it in the really nice flavorful sauce. You make sure to say Bismillah before you eat. The meat has wonderful flavor, wonderful texture. The soup, it's very clear, it's very delicate. It looks like consomme because we didn't use the, the stock. If you do use the stock, it will be a little bit murky. So this is the secret of making the soup very clear and very white and very delicate uh, when you uh, eat this make sure you say bismillah and enjoy this because you know 90 percent of almost all of the chinese restaurants they love to eat with um, they love to cook this with pork so this way you can have it the halal version uh, just remember the methods the method is uh, a portion of protein half a portion of any green vegetable to go with it green onions also can go on top any Chinese Asian cuisine will always add olive, not olive oil, but sesame oil instead of olive oil. 
and some soy sauce instead of salt so you have this you can make this in ramadan when we come back we're gonna talk about the greatest invention of the history in my opinion it's so great that it helped distribute the quran all over the world so it helped revolutionize the paper industry we're talking about the invention of paper i'll talk to you about it when we come back after the break and the history and the battle of talas wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh